It's extremely significant for child survival that the measles rubella combined vaccine is able to be introduced into Rwanda today. It will literally save lives and those girls who have been vaccinated today, the future mothers, are now also protected. So there's a layer of protection around the children and a layer of protection around the future children. <laughs> Was here in Rwanda was very huge in farmer time, like uh, in the 18 years where the measles killed a lot of children, especially for under five children. But if you compare in 20 years ago and up to now, there is a lot of improvement. Measles is no longer killing any child in Rwanda. Rwanda has managed to bring measles under control and as a result it's now more obvious cases of rubella when they, when they present themselves because actually the symptoms between measles and rubella are actually quite similar and yet the manifestation of rubella, particularly in a pregnant woman, can be potentially life-threatening for a child. Certainly there are greater risks of a child being born with um, hearing uh, impairment, with sight impairment, with even heart defects and risk of, of premature birth and risk of miscarriage. A few years ago we identified that rubella was one of the key illnesses that countries were telling us was, um, was something they'd like to benefit from vaccinations for. So um, we have made available to countries support to carry out campaigns for measles rubella combined vaccines and Rwanda is the very first Gavi supported country to do that. So whilst the vaccine uh, is prevalent in the West it's a very exciting development that this is now starting to be seen in those poorest countries. It was Rwanda who asked for this vaccine, as it's the case that countries ask for any of the vaccines that Gabby provides. the introduction of MR into immunization program, that is a long process because we have to take a decision. The decision has to come to the high authorities. The government prior has to commit that it's going to, su to sustain the program, to give the money to the program implementation. You can have donors to give you the support, but what about to give the service to the population? That is why they have to, to sustain people to receive the service. They have also to sustain government to have ownership to put much funds into our implementation program. Also, I cannot forget to advise other countries to prepare almost one year ahead of time to implement before implementation, like to expand the cold chain capacity, like to make some trainings to the population, health providers, to sustain community health workers so that they, have, they take a leader to implement the program.
Well, I'm a firm believer in the power of partnership and I think this is a real demonstration of how partnership can save lives. The leadership has come very firmly from the government of Rwanda. That's not possible without the partners coming behind and accompanying the government throughout this child survival revolution. But also the technical support that UNICEF and WHO have provided has been extremely important. After we have that catch up measles campaign, we are going to put rubella and measles combined vaccine into a routine immunization program so that every child who have got nine months will receive from now rubella and measles combined vaccine. We fund the campaign which enables a, a, a big um, effort to ensure that children from nine months to 14 years are immunized. We then provide an introduction grant to enable the country to make that part of its routine immunisation. Thank you.